Hey guys, welcome for today's Melissa Monday video. We're gonna do a declutter and I hope you don't mind. I know I've done a lot of declutters on my channel in the past, but I really wanted to get this done today. So we're gonna go through my skincare cabinet and if you have any products to declutter too, then we can do that together this morning or whenever you happen to be watching this video. And I wanna clear out a lot of the products that I have because it was just this year that I totally changed my skincare routine and I've gone in a way more minimalist direction with it. And I've adopted a more Scandinavian approach to it. So a lot of the products that I currently have have built up due to PR being sent from companies you know if you're on social media companies will send out products to you in hopes that you'll test them out and review them on your channel and share them with your followers so i do have a lot of products built up due to that that i want to clear out so yeah i just really wanted to minimize the amount of topical products that i use on my skin and so i did adopt a more scandinavian approach to skincare which is a more holistic approach to skincare it focuses more on skincare from the inside out so every, it encompasses everything from your food you know your overall diet to exercise and also utilizing things like sauna and cold water on your skin and also an ayurvedic kind of infusion you know so items that are in your kitchen you know food items being used on your skin so kind of like a diy but it's super basic like really minimalist and you can get results with that like i can't tell you how much I, I am obsessed with ginger water and what that can do for your skin as far as hyperpigmentation goes and old scarring and how it can uh, really help even out your skin tone. It is amazing. So there's like really basic things you can do that are so cost effective. So it's so budget friendly to have effective skincare that is actually healthy and safe for your skin and really simple and minimalistic. So it's about having effective skincare, but a more simple routine. Okay, so for today's declutter project, this is what we're gonna be working on. This is my skincare cabinet up here, but I've got a full mix of products in here. I've got everything from fragrances and dental hygiene products to uh, facial skincare and then body oils and skincare. And then down in the second cabinet, I'll probably clear out some items here. I have a couple of hair tools that I use so I'm hanging on to those and then I have a tub of empties here just empty products I was gonna do a, a product empties video sometime but I don't know I've had those for way too long so I think I just want to you know, I'll show you guys in this video and then I'll get them out of there and then uh, makeup bags there which I can probably eliminate some of those so there are a lot of good products in here like the product itself it's actually you know good quality but it's just that I've simplified my routine so much that I have stopped using a lot and I focus way more on the food that I'm eating and that has gotten me way better results than anything any topical product that I've ever used and so I've just slowly you know weaned myself down from using you know like doing a routine a skincare routine that has so many steps in it I've also got my bin down here so I'll be putting any products I'm clearing out into there okay I've got a Pacifica lips like sugar lip scrub I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't really like it uh, this is Luxme uh, Nilotica deep hydration it was a mask oh it's empty by the way I did use this I saved this because well it's supposed to be an empty tub but I did save it so I could tell you guys about it I did really like it I think it's a good product it is very hydrating but being that it's eight dollars per sheet I would I'm more likely to just put that money into a good serum or a facial cream rather than just doing a one-time mask but that's just me okay Brazilian bum bum cream I love this stuff I love the fragrance of it I'm for sure keeping that I'm just gonna move it out of the way for now and I'm just gonna tell you guys right now I'm a terrible uh, salesman or influencer, whatever you want to call it, when it comes to skincare. I love skincare, but I'm not going to tell you guys to have a 10 step skincare routine or something. I'm not gonna like to tell you that all of these products you must have because I don't believe that. I believe that most of your skin care needs to come from the diet that you're eating. And so that doesn't make anyone any money. So I'm really not a good um, you know, salesman when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay, we've got some samples up here. Andalou Naturals Perfecting Cream, Derma E Moisturizing, Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Scrub. So here's a couple of products that I really like. Andalou Naturals is one of my favorite brands. Perfecting Cream, the Goji Peptide Perfecting Cream, that's a really good cream. Also their Night Cream is another really good one, but I'm putting them as you can see, I'm putting them in my tub here because I no longer use them. We got Clean Screen, is that in focus from Rin? That's my sunscreen, so I'm definitely keeping that because I use that pretty often. It's a mattifying face sunscreen. Brazilian Body Buff from Sol de Janeiro from the same company that makes the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I love that brand. So I'm just gonna scoot those out of the way. We're not getting rid of those. Here's another product from Rin, but I'm gonna let go of this one. Oh, that's an empty box that goes to my sunscreen. Throw that down there. 
foot fetish cream from Sol de Janeiro. Love that, awesome foot cream. Here's another really good product. Now, like I said, there's a lot of good products in here, but once you simplify your routine, you just find that you don't need them anymore. So this is a good example of that. Andalou Naturals, I love them. They're Clementine and C Illuminating Toner. That's a really good one if you're looking for a good toner. But I'm simplifying and I stopped using that over a year ago. Oh, that's the Sol de Janeiro. It's a little foot, uh, foot polisher. I've got another toner from Rin that I did test out, but it turned out to be too strong for my skin, so I'm gonna let go of that. Here's another Rin product. This is the AHA Smart Renewal Body Serum. I'm gonna let go of that. Derma E Mycodermabrasion Scrub. This is my top pick for an exfoliator, facial exfoliator. I love that stuff. I just checked it last night though, because I was gonna use some, but the last of it was all kind of dried up at the bottom, so I didn't quite finish that, but that, that could get into my empties tub down there. Here's a product that didn't work out for me at all. This is Frey or free, I don't know, uh, detox me. It's a post sweat clearing mask. I just didn't find that it worked out with, with like my pores. It was really hard to remove and I felt like it clung to my pores and accentuated them. I don't know, it just didn't work out for me, but I, they have a lot of reviews that are really positive. So I guess maybe it works for a, a lot of other people and maybe I was just in the minority that it didn't work out for. Um, oh, and also it's $54 for this tiny little tub. And so I always look at that, like the company sent it, but I look at what, is this something that I would truly repurchase, you know? And no, I would not pay $54 for that little tub. Um, now there is another product in here that is a luxury product right here. This is my Swedish, my new me Stockholm uh, Birch Tech Hybrid. I am obsessed with this stuff. This is like the one product. Actually, this product did replace a lot of the other ones that I was using, but I'm not gonna kid you. This is pricey stuff. It's made in small batches in Sweden. So it's, um, it's very much a luxury product. And so I use, the tiniest amounts of it when I'm when I'm using this I only use it a few times a week at night so that is something that I would repurchase but only because it replaced several other products um, so it would kind of balance out to be the same does that make sense um, so that's something I'm definitely gonna be keeping did we clear everything out of here hold on let's see whispers silicone blender nope don't need that uh, another sample Davida okay I'm gonna toss that it's an old chapstick Okay, got everything out of that. Luxme has really hydrating products. They're really good. These are a couple of Nilotica uh, Creme de Nil. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but they're just like the little sample sizes in there. So Luxme does have really hydrating products. So if you need one of those really super rich creams, they're really good. This is a facial brush. It's by Tao Clean. And let's see, what else does it say? It's the Aura Clean System Orbital Facial Brush and Cleaning Station. I like this because it, ha like when you plug it in, I've got the cord somewhere, but when you plug it in, it automatically, it has a little dryer in here. So your brush doesn't sit there just wet. You know, it dries it pretty quickly. Okay, so we're done with this section. So I've just got my new me Stockholm, my Swedish skincare and then the Tao clean uh, facial brush and I'm gonna finish off these Luxme samples and then also I've got my sunscreen and then I've got my new me so I'm gonna put that back here I like to save the boxes sometimes because I still like to research you know as I'm trying out the product well I've already tried it out I've had it for about a month so yeah sometimes I like to hang out of the boxes of products especially when I'm still like getting to know the ingredients and I'm researching and stuff so this one has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and retinol all in one so it's a very multi-purpose it covers a lot of bases it also has Swedish lingonberry cloudberry it has Swedish birch sap which actually replaces water content so this actually doesn't have any fillers or like water to fill it it just has birch sap in place of that um, so it's a good delivery system into the skin so yeah Swedish skincare loving that and that replaced a lot of my products and really helped simplify my routine um, so it's a serum and cream all in one I'm also really into dental hygiene products so that's why I'm, I'm always trying out different ones so I'm currently using the essential oxygen uh, these are these are all organic the brushing rinse, the toothpaste, and the tooth polish. I'm just gonna set those aside for now and just get them out of the way, but definitely keeping those. Oh, and Eco Dent, the extra bright, dazzling white uh, baking soda tooth powder. That's a really good one for whitening too. Diva by Diva Set. Uh, I had some questions for the company. I tried to contact them. They sent this to me. It's like a set of illuminators. And as it turns out, I didn't realize when they offered to send this that they were located in China. And so I'm always really leery about um, sharing products that are from overseas unless I know more about them. And they never contacted me back. So I never answered any of my questions. So I don't know. I'm just gonna set this in my bin for now. And if you're looking for a good tea whitener. Snap White is one of my favorite companies and also Aura Glow. I've used both and both work really well. I got good results with both. Um, very similar results. Actually here I need to toss this box because I think that's yeah that's empty now. So 
uh, I guess I was just saving that uh, to share with you guys at some point, but there you go. Aura Glow, awesome. I got, I ordered that on Amazon. Okay, this Pixie Skin Treats, this was sent from Pixie. So it's got a cleanser, toner, vitamin C lotion, uh, caviar balm, vitamin C serum. So that entire set, I think will just be really nice to give away to someone. And then this tub is mostly my fragrances. It's got my charger for my toothbrush though. So I'm gonna take that out of there. Oh, and I got a couple of toothbrush heads that got in there somehow. So this is my whole collection of fragrances, everything from my signature scent, my Bootsy oils, to some Pacifica fragrances. Uh, Indian coconut nectar is an old favorite. Uh, Pacifica Hardcore Happy, and I've got the rollerball of that, and then also my Bootsy Lotions, which are super yummy too. And then um, Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro. Oh, you know what, just for the sake of filming, I'm gonna move this out of the way for now, and I'm just gonna move the tub that I have down below here on the next shelf up here, because it's easier as far as filming goes, so you guys can see. Okay, we've got 100% Pure Bright Eyes Eye Mask to depuff and brighten. Um, not something that I use. This was free, it came with a purchase, and I just never used it, I've never opened it, it's still completely sealed. Field, so I'm just gonna add that to my tub and pass that on. I've got Glow Tonic from Pixie and Glow Serum from Pixie. Let's see, I think I've got another peel and polish. Okay, so those Pixie products I'm gonna let go of. This one, I tried that cleansing gel and just did not work out because of the scent. I couldn't I couldn't handle the scent, it was too strong for me. We've got some Pixie masks here. We've got Glycolic Boost, the glow masks. So I've got three of those. I'm gonna put those in my tub down there. Uh, we've got Phenomenal Gel, T-Zone Peel-Off Mask, and the On The Glow Ginseng and Glycolic Acid Stick, the skin treats. Detoxify. Um, so I guess those are little like depuffing eye patches. Yeah, so all things that I don't need. So I'm gonna drop those down here. Got Derma E Advanced Peptides and Collagen Serum. I don't think that I, wait, did I open that at all? Oh yeah, that one's still totally brand new. I think I did open it and smelled it and it was just a little too strong for me. So I'm like, I'm super sensitive to the scents or fragrances of skincare. Okay, we've got a Pixie Glow Mud Mask too. So both of those are gonna go in the tub to go. The cognac body sponges. Now that's something that I use all the time. So these, that's what all of these are. I've got one that I'm already using, so these are just waiting their turn, but they're all brand new. So that one is for that one's for body, but these facial ones I'm gonna put up here in my facial, my facial shelf just above here. And this is gonna be like the body shelf here. So I've got my Maui Vera, love that. Organic sunburn relief and after sun moisturizer. I've got Pacifica Coconut Vanilla Underarm Deodorant Water. I like that. How cute is that little package too on that deodorant? This is the Crystal Mineral Deodorant, unscented. This out of Africa, I really like that brand too. This is their Shea Butter Hand Lotion. It's a good hand lotion. It's probably got too much glycerin in it to be a body lotion because it can, you know how glycerin is, it makes it uh, more stickier. So it's made to really lock in the moisture. So it's good for your hands, but probably wouldn't use it all over your body because um, it might make it too, you know, it's, got, it's not gonna leave your skin like silky smooth. It, you might be able to feel it a little bit, but very good for your hands. What I like for overall, or like all over your body, is the Shea Body Oil. This is awesome. And both of these are a natural vanilla scent. It smells amazing. So I love both of those. Oh, these shower exfoliating body scrubbers. These are Salux. They're made in Japan. Okay, so there's the name. I'm not sure if I was pronouncing that right, but Salux. Made in Japan, they are super exfoliating in the shower. I love these. And I've got my Yerba Prima skin brush. And this handle, I'm just gonna slip right behind here because usually, I don't know, I, I don't use the handle all the time. I'll just drop it back there. This Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is still in the box because I actually have one that I'm still working on. It's almost gone though, so that's the backup for it, the replacement. So I'm just gonna store that in there for now. And the Sol de Janeiro Body Exfoliator, I'm gonna put that in my shower. And the Foot Fetish Cream, I will put back in here. And these, I think I'll put in my medicine cabinet. Okay, I'll put the Out of Africa back in here. And I'm gonna put my fragrances down here also. So I'm gonna put my Zoya Remove Plus in here, but I'm gonna keep my nail brush in with my nail files in my drawer in my bathroom. Okay, I just pulled out my bin of empties from the bottom shelf, and then look at all the products here we were able to declutter just now. Look at all that. I'm so happy all of that is getting out of there so that way someone else can use it because there's just way, way too much. and. 
I just really like having a really small, simple skincare routine now. In my empties here, I've got Zoya Remove Plus. I'll just share what I have in here with you guys really quick. Pacifica Seafoam Complete Face Wash. I go through those pretty often. And then Sol de Janeiro, uh, the shower gel. That's really good. I love the scent of that. And then an uh, old cognac sponge that I use. You're only supposed to really keep those for like three months or something. And then a couple of Pacifica mascaras. Got a body lotion, Andalou Naturals, Kakui Cocoa, or yeah, Kakui Cocoa Body Butter. I was gonna say cacao, but it does say cocoa. Oh, another mascara from Pacifica. Um, Bali Body, watermelon tanning oil. 10% pure long last concealer with super fruits. That's my favorite concealer. And then Luxme Lip Melt. So they're all my empties. Products we're clearing out. And then I've got too many makeup bags. Like this one was just free and I just held on to it. And then this it was, well, it, it came with the Eco Tools brushes and I never use those. So I'm gonna get rid of those too. So no, no need to keep those sitting around. And I am gonna keep my Eco Beauty Australia bag. And then this one with the moon, I got that on Etsy. And then this is a tool, that's the, the polishing tool, skin polishing tool that Michael and I use. You know what I just realized? I think I have something in here. Okay, nothing in there. I think there's specific lip balms in here. I knew those were hiding somewhere. I totally forgot about these though. I actually don't really use these. I'm gonna toss these in my get rid of bin for now, but I will ask Michael when he gets home and see if he wants any of these. I just cleared all the empties out of this tub and I'm gonna store my digital hygiene and my teeth whiteners all together in here. So I'm gonna have my extra toothbrush heads in there and then my toothbrush charger. Oh, and this is a toothpaste, but I've got the toothpaste I'm currently using in my bathroom, of course. This is just uh, extra. So as soon as I finish that one, I sometimes I like to switch back and forth. Oh, I got me. The way I feel about skincare now is the more effective skincare that you have, the less of it you actually need. You know, the routine can be more simple. You know, the most effective skincare is really your food. It's your diet. That makes the biggest difference in your skin. And then anything topical is really just extra. You know, it's like the cherry on top. Okay, now I just wanna figure out what to do with all these products because a lot of these are brand new. So what I could do is I could bag everything up and go donate it right now this afternoon. Or if you guys want me to do a blog sale, I can do that. Like if you see a product here that you really wanted to try, then I can go ahead and put on a blog sale on my website. And what I would do is obviously any products that are sent to me for free from a company from PR, then I just you know, give away for free on my website. Um, and I, I just have to ship them out to you. Um, so let me know if there's anything here that you like and I can set up a blog sale. But if we do that, I wanna wait until after next week because I still wanna go through my makeup drawer in my vanity and can go through all that and I would do a blog sale all at once. Or I would donate all at once if you guys aren't interested in any, in any of this. Um, so just let me know either way. Okay guys, I hope that you had fun decluttering. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I hope if you got a chance to declutter then you feel good about, you know, Minimizing. I know I always feel so much lighter letting go of products that I'm not using. I mean, you know, keep everything that you do use. The idea is to have the things that you love and you use and enjoy those things. But then anything you realize down the road that, hey, you know, I stopped using that or I don't need that anymore, then, you know, it feels good to just let that stuff go and you feel so much lighter. So anyway, okay, I'll stop talking. I'll let you guys go. I think the next video might be a vlog. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.